Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Hello students. We are about to finish our course. Let's do our lesson today. Traveler. Our lesson today it is module four. Listening and speaking, and we are going to do also the round up in the student book. And later we'll go, uh, we'll take the writing task. Let's begin with the listening task. <laughs> the listening task here, as you see, you will hear five different people talking about different types of people. Choose from the list A to F what each speaker might say. There is one extra answer. Let's begin and listen carefully, please. 4B. Listening and speaking. Listening. B. You will hear five different people talking about different types of people. Choose from the list A to F what each speaker might say. There is one extra letter that you do not need to use. Speaker 1 Some people love being home close to their family. They are sensitive people and can get very emotional at times. They also remember very well. So if a friend hurts them, they will forgive, but not forget. They are usually shy individuals and need time for themselves, whereas others like socialising all the time. They might not always be self-confident. However, they hide an unusual inner strength. Speaker 2 Some people are open and like taking risks. They usually choose professions that involve some kind of adventure or danger. They are sociable and like to be around people. They are very honest too. However, because they don't always think twice before they say something, they sometimes get in trouble. These people can be very optimistic and always find a way to look on the bright side of even the most difficult situations. Speaker 3 These people are usually calm, strong individuals who are in control of their feelings. However, more often than not, they are hiding their emotions because they don't want people to become aware of their sensitivity. Because they are powerful, independent and determined people, they make good group leaders. Speaker 4 Some people have got two completely different sides, almost like being two different individuals in one. Their personality can change according to the situation they find themselves in. For example, they can both love and hate something on different occasions. They are intelligent, curious and talkative and will be the centre of attention at any social gathering. Speaker 5 There are some people who are very independent and thirsty for life. They are born leaders and enjoy having an audience. They don't like being alone and in fact they are often very faithful friends. Their generous and lively personality makes it hard not to like them. However, there might be problems in the work environment because they don't change their minds easily and like to be in charge. Hello again. You should have written your answers while playing the recording. Hmm? Speaker 1 it is B. Speaker 2 E. Speaker 3 F, speaker 4, C, and speaker 5 is D. Let's continue. Now we'll go to speaking. Here we have something new here. We have a summary or what we call blurbs from five different novels. You should Read these blurbs 
you should read them and you should give me you should give me two of them that you would like to read and you should say why but of course now we don't have the chance to do this so read them and choose two for yourself and try to to explain to yourself why why you uh, chose them let's go on to the new vocabulary here we have fascinating we have exciting we have page turner original and original gripping and dull and we have also these expressions if you don't know the meaning of some words try to use your dictionary it's not a big deal now let's go to the roundup quickly i'm going to give you the answers here just you are going to read them by yourself and then you should put the answers hmm? here yes Mm -hmm. right. You can think while I am doing the answer. Of course, here, remember the rule here, uh, this is uh, the clause 3, might have plus verb 3, but here you have been in the middle, because this is passive, because this is passive, might have been killed. Here, it is the same rule, it should be might have plus verb 3, but here we have been, because this is in the passive. You see, this is object, not subject, huh? Yeah, we might have been killed. This is the object. So this is in the passive. Let's move to the next exercise. Of course, here also you should read it hmm, to have the answers.
continue. Mm -hmm. Here you should write a word in the gap, the suitable word. You, you don't have the words, you just open the, by understanding only the statement or the sentence or the meaning of the sentence, then you write the suitable word. Here, this is a, as usual an important exercise here. This exercise makes sure that you are understanding our listen or our module here. You see? So I was I was really disappointed that all the shoes are uh, shoes I tried on were uncomfortable. Here you are going to use none and put it in the of course the, the same meaning here for the two sentences. It is the, you have the same meaning, so you should use none without changing the meaning. See, so here you will have none of the shoes, neither or neither. Here, yes, all the same, here, would, the same, had, yes, had, had, here, because here you, you have would, have, got, would, plus have, plus verb 3, so you must have had plus verb 3 here, had, had, this is verb 3, and this is had from the rule, which is, which is, she had taken, this is in the past, so it should be, had plus verb 3, if you remember what we have talked about. Only had called, the same, this is in the past, and here, this is unreal past, huh? This sentence and this sentence, 6 and 7, are unreal past. This one, here, when Tom came around, the doctor told him, this is here, hmm? you are using came, not come, sorry, when Tom came around, this is came, mm -hmm. by this we end the round up, remember to do the workbook, the workbook you should do, page 57, the vocabulary, not the writing of course, then you should go to the round up, pages 60 and 61. By this we will finish the round up. See you in, inshallah in our last lesson, which is the writing. See you inshallah and be safe.